so today we are going to work on uh, like date time in ruby so and i'm going to uh, take you forward with some uh, like little bit uh, good concepts in date time because you might be working like get to work in back end on the rails part so you might like query on some date time part in your like um, data uh, database and your like logic so it would help you how you can manipulate because when you keep the uh, like a uh, record of things so you usually manage with date and time so i'll tell you how you can achieve the same using like in ruby so let's start with our tutorial so the basic thing you need to first type you need to type require require is like is, is it is like uh, you'll get to like uh, learn new things in this so require is used to like get this is required so it is like an import statement require date so required date would help you to like ma uh, manipulate the date uh, date uh, date records in, in ruby so now you can create a variable my date okay uh, so you can get create a variable my date var so basically this should store store a date and you need to store date dot parse and now you can uh, put like in a string you can put 10th December uh, 2021 so this is a very futuristic date and now what you can do, do you can like carry out few operations on this such as put s my date var so then put s so like okay, first we will do this so let's run this and we can type clear oh sorry a clear, a clear statement and now this would clear our console now ruby date time dot rb so when you print this so you get an output 2021 12 10. so basically so this is how it depends this gives the year format now this is the month and this is the day so 2021 uh, 2021 12 10 so this is a good output now what you can do now you can do different things like put s my date where dot year okay so basically now we can comment this so this would usually print out the year okay and in the same way you can approach for okay so i'll show you one by one so basically this would help you to have a clear approach so i do clear and ruby date time dot rb yes so 2021 is like is this the like output of this so next you can do put s my date where dot month so basically this would either give you the month now uh, this is 12 okay uh, and now what you can do you can simply comment this out now you can do put as my date where dot month day so month day is given by m day okay and now you can like run this so i'm going a little slow because this should help you here because this is the 10th day of the month okay now you can do put s my date where dot week day. so this would tell you that which day of the week it is so basically now you can op op following make the operations like weekdays 5 if, if it was 6 or 7 then you can refer that this was a weekend okay so this is how it goes good so now you can do clear and now you can type so which day of the year it is it is put as my date where dot y day so this would basically give you the year day so which day of the year it is okay so let's run this and it is a 344 day of the year okay so good to do good to go now what you can do you can shift this date my date var plus equal to 5 which is equivalent to like uh, basically this is equal to my date var is equal to my date var plus 5 okay so you can use either of this I'll use this notation the second one to have clarity now what you can do you can do put s my date where my date where dot you can string format time so this is strf time okay so basically you are form for formatting and now I'll type you to do percent a percent d percent b and percent y okay so so this is capital yeah 
so let's run this so now it basically you can see by the notations it says the day is Wednesday the day numeric in week terms of week is Wednesday day in terms of month is 15 December 2021 so this is like a very uh, used notation to keep the track of the like date okay so let's comment this and okay one thing I told you that I initialized as 10th December and now I did this plus 5 which turn incremented it by 5 days so this really like you can implement a good logic so like just by putting 5 you can increase the whole date so and get all the other details so like this was 10th I uh, sorry this was 10th December now I incremented by 5 here and then when I printed out this at this line so it works like magic okay now now you can comment this okay so now what you can do you can create another variable time okay for that you require require time okay and let's comment this so let's take some space so that it gives a clear view so you can give my time where is equal to time dot new 2021 year 10th day 12th this as December 6 5 10 and this is the notation basically which tells you plus make sure you put a 0 5 0 0 though don't put directly like this 5 0 0 so put a 0 5 0 0 okay now in the same way what you can do you can do put as my time where okay and you can I'll repeat this put as my time dot where dot r this would give you the r now this would give you the minute and this would give you the seconds okay so let's run this yeah so here you see so the r is six min, uh, minutes is five then the seconds is ten okay and uh, you can like also do something put s time dot now so this would like print you that current time okay good to go now we can clear the screen and we can also comment this now let's uh, move on with some additional topic so basically i'll give you like this is a very uh, like a small quick topic view which would really help you so directory uh, and exceptions so basically okay i'll give you directory dot rb so basically this is a new topic so let's do this basically what you can do you can do put s uh, run the directory command directory dot print pwd stands so print working directory now like the this would print your current working directory so this is print working directory now i'll give ruby directory dot rb and this would print the current working directory okay so this is the working directory i'm usually in and this can be confirmed now then you can do uh, run a command directory dot make directory so basically these are all the like commands you do a uh, folder here and uh, then you can also check put as directory dot exists exists this this exists folder here so when i run this file now you will see yes this directory exists and it does create a directory to my left okay now let's create another file exceptions.rb so this is another topic so now to create a try catch statement ruby basically you you can give a begin statement now in this begin statement you have three things rescue so one is rescue other is else other is ensure so begin is put s begin so basically okay and then i'll do 
put s 3 by 0 basically this is an error to catch this error i'll do put s error error catched okay so else would like else is like a, uh, like put s uh, if the error is not catched if the error is not catched then you can do this this looks good okay ensure this put s this should always run always run irrespective of above irrespective of above so always run irrespective of. let's run this ruby exception.rb so here you can see begin error is catched because 3 divided by 0 is a division uh, division by 0 error so it's an error and it says error cache and always run irrespective of above now let's change to 1 this is not an error now because this is valid 3 by divided by 1 so let's see, let's see. begin it does good 3 is done because yes it does put 3 out it is not an error looks good always run irrespective of above so this is how you deal with error handling in ruby so i'll continue with like classes and object oriented programming next tutorial so thank you for watching for this tutorial thank you everyone